What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at Lead Curve problem number 1070, Product Sales Analysis 3. Lock this medium, let's get into it. So just like in the other Product Sales Analysis problems, we have a table called Sales and a table called Product. Sales contains sales information containing a sale ID, product ID, year quantity and price, while Product contains product information, namely product ID and product name. Our task is to write an SQL query that selects the product ID, year, quantity and price for the first year of every product sold. So we want the sales, but only for the first year, pretty much. Our output should contain product ID, year as first year, quantity, and price. So we're going to start off by selecting these from the sales table. So select product ID, year, quantity, and price from sales. Let's just make sure that works. And one more note is that sales table is already aggregated in a way that quantity is given by year. There should only be one entry per year. It is not really clear in the question statement, but I already tried this question and found out. Otherwise, we would have to use sum for quantity. But judging by the table, it's already aggregated by year. That means it's the total quantity of sales for that year if that year is given here. All right, so that works, but we get too much of an output. We get three rows, while we should only get two rows because product ID 100 was sold in, 20, in 2009. So we got three rows as output. We should only get twos because one of these outputs is not the first year of sales, namely product ID 100 has sales in 2009 and 2008. 2008 was the first year, so we should only put out 2008. So we're gonna use a WHERE filter and say product ID and year. That combination, which is a very powerful tool, should be in using the in keyword in a table which we're going to construct right now and that table should just give us first year of a product being sold and that is quite simple if we split that problem up that way so we're going to select product id minimum year as first year of sales um, from our sales table as well and we need to group by product ID to get the minimum year or first year per product and it, not for the entire table. Okay, so see what that gives us. We should call that first year in the end. And that is already accepted. Let's submit that and see if it is already accepted as a solution running all test cases. And it is. Some more words of explanation is that in is a filter mechanism that uses that table as a lookup pretty much. So if the combination of product ID and year is in that table of first sales years, then we put it out in the end. So in this case, I could just run that subquery only, and that would give, uh, give us each product ID and first year of sales being 2008 for 100 and 2011 for 200. And that way we're filtering our output to only contain these years. And that is something we see in many lead code problems when we're trying to filter on a specific thing like first year or first day of login. Yeah, we could also solve this using a join here, which makes it a bit longer and more complicated, but that should work in all SQL dialects. In doesn't work in all dialects as far as I know. But that solution is quite short and concise, gives us all the information we need. We might have to use sum for year here if we know that it is not pre-aggregated our sales table and otherwise we're pretty much fine and that's pretty much it for the problem. So check out the other solutions for product sales analysis. 
programmers only code on this channel. And I also have a playlist containing all SQL solutions I did on this channel. So make sure you stick around and consider subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.